Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a kind of like pumpkin spice, just fall themed kind of makeup look. I, um, I already decorated my house for fall. If you follow my cleaning channel, which is always linked down below, I already like did a decorating, uh, I decorated for fall already. And, um, it's starting to get cooler here now where I live. I finally live somewhere that has seasons, so I'm very excited to actually have a fall this year because I've been in Florida for like seven years uh, now and um, Florida never had fall really. Or We did have fall, but it was winter. It was like January, February was like in the 60s and 50s and then by March it was already in the 80s again. So um, I don't usually have a fall, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I already got my nails done. A dark red I already got pumpkin spice coffee creamer which I am currently enjoying and I'm just ready for fall I'm ready for fall makeup um, I'm ready for just warm smoky eyes and darker makeup in general so yeah that is what I'm gonna be doing today also this palette really inspired me this is the morphe painted desert palette it's a new one I know it was at stores this came out after I'd already left uh, Morphe and moved um, but I know it came out in Morphe stores and now it's in Ulta so I was excited to get my hands on this and yeah that's what I'll be doing for you today the video is going to be a kind of voiceover tutorial because Lily woke up um, right as I was about to start filming so I put on a movie for her to watch while I was doing like the full makeup application because if I was just talking for like an hour while I was filming this um, she would be going nuts which you will see in the outro yeah so um i just put on a movie and then just did the makeup and yeah i'll just do a voiceover to talk about what i'm doing but yeah that is it and let's just get started all right so we are starting off per usual by priming my eyelid and for that i'm going to use my juvia's place concealer which is just absolutely fabulous For eyeshadow, we're gonna be working with the Morphe Painted Desert Palette. So I'm taking this first sort of creamsicle orange shade and I'm going to build that up in my crease using a really fluffy blending brush and just getting it down a really nice base color in the crease to build off of. Once we have that color down, I'm gonna go into this sort of warm um, orangey brown in the middle of the top row. And using a smaller brush, this is a Morphe M505, that is gonna go into my crease a little deeper. You guys know how I do in terms of like building up color. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this color and layer it down a couple times just to build up some depth. After that, I'm gonna go in with the deep chocolate brown in the top corner, and I'm gonna start packing this with a Morphe M5, M456 into the outer corner and the outer part of my crease, and then start to blend that in into the previous warm brown shade, because I really wanna kinda have this like nice, deep smokiness to my outer corner. This particular look I did obviously wing it out. You guys know that like, that's my bread and butter. Like I love winging my eyeshadow out. And then I'm going back in with that warm brown and just using that and sort of blending it next to the deep brown just to transition over onto our lid. I'm then taking the really warm kind of bronzy, orangey bronze color, and I'm just gonna use my finger to place this on the lid. These shimmers do work well, whether you use your finger or a brush. Um, I just decided to use my finger um, in particular this day and just really packing that on the lid and then a little into the crease for it to blend up really nicely. And then I'm gonna go in with the bottom corner, which is this really pretty kind of champagne. It's got a little more gold under to it, undertone to it. And I'm just placing that on the inner corner and then using my finger, I'm just sort of dabbing to blend that lighter shade up into the lid color. So now we're gonna do the lower lash line. This eye look is pretty simple. I'm just taking the same shades I did on top, starting off with a dark brown and blending that across my crease 
also on my waterline, as you guys know I like to do. And then once I have that down, I'm gonna go back in with the next darkest shade, which was that kind of mid-tone warm brown, blending that right underneath. Cold never bothered me anyway. Interjecting with a little Frozen. Lily watches that movie so much that like, I mean, I know all the songs now. <laughs> so I'm going back in with the cream Sokol color and blending that right underneath. And y'all know I do this pretty much in all my looks, going in from like dark to lightest with our crease colors and blending colors to get that really nice faded out effect. I'm then taking my pencil brush with the bronze shade. I'm wetting it a little bit to get it really intense. And I'm going to place that on the inner half of the lower lash line and then sort of just lightly buff it into the deeper color on the outer corner as well as into the inner corner. And then for my liner today, I'm using one of like my new favorites. I've been using this a lot lately. I'm actually wearing it right now as I'm recording this video. And this is um, the Morphe liquid eyeliner in the shade Tea Spill. It's a really dark brown. This liner is literally amazing and so long wearing and absolutely stunning. Highly, highly recommend. I'm going in with some of my uh, lashes I got off AliExpress, which I will put the number down below because I can't recall the number right now, but I'm just applying those with the Dark Tone Duo as well as my MAC um, Lash Tweezers. For my brows, I am using what has become my absolute favorite brow pot product ever, which is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Y'all, this brow pencil and the little, you know, marker on the end is so good. I cannot recommend this enough. Like the absolute perfect brow product to get like a defined brow while also keeping it kind of natural because you can put in the hair strokes with a marker. Like this is sort of like game over, game changer, like this is it. As long as this is out, I feel like this is just what I'm gonna use forever. I cannot recommend this enough. To prep the skin, I'm using my Neutrogena um, moisturizer, and this is the uh, gel cream one that's for more dry skin. I just prefer a thicker moisturizer myself, and just kind of blending that in all over. And then for foundation today, I'm using the new Fenty Beauty um, hydrating foundation and I'm applying this with a Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill foundation brush, one of my favorite foundation brushes, just to get the maximum coverage possible. I'm next to be using my concealer and I'm using the Juvia's Place concealer again and just using that to highlight like under my eyes and down the center of my face as I usually do and blending it in with a Real Techniques blender. This is one of the blenders that has like the little microfiber hairs on it. I'm next gonna set everything in place and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Powder in the shade Vanilla. Um, I've been using this pretty constantly since I bought it. It is a very good powder, super smoothing, definitely not as brightening or doesn't give really much coverage like if I compare it to my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder which is my number one favorite powder of all time, but it's still really great and I've been enjoying using it a lot. To bronze up and contour my skin, I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, which I love. And if you noticed my little face there, uh, you will see what that all means by the end of the video. <music> 
For blush, I'm going into my Morphe Blush Trio in the shade uh, Pop of Coral. And I'm using the deep orangey shade on the end to give like just a really nice warmth to my skin going really, really well with the eyes. And then to highlight, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter highlighter in the shade The Heroine, which has been my favorite since I bought it. It's almost kind of like a loose version of like the um, ABH Amrezy highlight. Like it's got that similar undertone of being that really beautiful kind of like golden champagne, not too dark, not too light. It would work on like light skin tones, but also like medium to maybe medium deep skin tones, not like super deep skin tones, but it would work for quite an array of skin tones. And it's absolutely beautiful, so smooth. Love it. And then for my lips, I'm gonna use my NYX lip liner in the shade Natural, which is an amazing lip liner. These are so good and they're only $4, which is absolutely insane. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna be using my Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in the shade boy toy, which is a beautiful kind of um, nudie brown color. Okay guys, so I paused her video for a minute so I could just kind of give you a little outro and a um, just a quick rundown on a couple of feelings I have about some of these products because some of them are new. Um, so first I want to say this Morphe eyeshadow palette is probably the colors I've tried, which is one, two, three, four, five that I put on my eyes today, probably the best eyeshadow palette from Morphe, like quality, like these mattes are literally insane. Like the blendability, the pigmentation, I am so impressed with how these works on my eyes. Like they look so nice and they blended so nice. And like the depth that I got, like it's literally stunning. I really, really, really love this palette and I highly recommend this. It was only $12, like that's crazy. And this formula is good. I have some of these other nine kind of palettes from Morphe um, that I got when I worked there um, and they were some of the Ulta exclusive ones and they're also good, but I wasn't as like, you know, wow. This is something where I'm like, holy shit, literally like crazy. This pigmentation is amazing, so I highly recommend this palette. Um, I also really highly recommend these new matte lipsticks from Morphe. I got Boy Toy. Oh, okay, we want to come up. I got Boy Toy and one other one, um, and I like them both. Lily's having a little chill, chill day, looking a mess. Um, what? Up. You want? You already got up. Oh, you want down? Okay. Um, I got two of these that came out in the new um, nude collection. This one and I don't know, I can't remember the other one's name, but basically they're kind of similar. This one's just more of like a brown, uh, where the other one's more of like a nudie pink, like that vibe I really like. Um, and they're both really nice, very matte, but very comfortable. If you haven't tried the Mega Matte Formula from Morphe, um, oh my goodness, you might like it because it's like matte, but it's not really uncomfortable matte and um they feel less harsh and heavy than like say for example what what ma what i don't know what you're asking for this okay oh thank you if you've ever felt the mac retro matte lipsticks these have this similar look of that really, really matte look, except these are a million times more comfortable. They're more like of a lightweight feeling, I guess. She's just gonna drop everything. Um, so I like that. Um, and then this Juvia's Place Concealer is so nice. It is so nice. Um, out of all the recent uh, concealers I've tried recently that are like newer, um, or at least newer to me, this, is 100% my favorite one that I've tried in a while. Like, it's really, really good. I highly recommend that. So, I just got a sample of the Fenty, um, the new Fenty uh, foundation. So, I almost paused her movie earlier when I was putting on the foundation initially to say that it looked beautiful because it did look really beautiful when I first put it on. 
So upon first application, really full coverage, really beautiful finish. I used the Juvia's Place Concealer and then I set everything with the ABH powder. I just used this powder with this concealer in another video with the uh, newer, what is that, Makeup Revolution Foundation I tried. So I don't think it's the concealer, but basically I'm gonna zoom you in. When I started putting blush on and like the bronzer and stuff, it started to go downhill really fast. So I'm gonna zoom you in really quick. Ah. And hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. So on my nose, I tried to fix it, but I don't know if you can see how like it broke apart really bad. And like, look at the side of my nose right here. See, it's like breaking apart. I literally just put all this on like a couple minutes ago. And um, my highlight kind of covered it up, but it did the same thing up in this area here. Um, and it's just like sitting super weird. I've never like, I don't know, like even like my blush, and again, I don't know if you can tell because I have highlight on. As I was putting my blush on, it almost made streaks in the foundation where it started coming off. And that doesn't happen to me with a lot of other things. So I don't know how I feel about this foundation. I'm gonna try it again, maybe tomorrow with a different set of products, um, like a different concealer, a different powder, just to see if there's any difference. But first impression on that, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm glad I got a sample of that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my pumpkin hazelnut coffee. Mm. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And um, yeah, see you next time, bye.